949 your time right now time for your science buzz stories creating a buzz in the science world and right now manatees are facing a starvation crisis in Florida and the Georgia Aquarium is stepping in to help SeaWorld has moved two manatees to the aquarium for ongoing recovery to make more space available at SeaWorld's Rescue and Rehabilitation Center. SeaWorld rescued the orphaned juveniles, one male and one female in December, neither of which have been named yet. The aquarium has a multi-year partnership with them for marine animal rescue and conservation. So thank you for stepping in to the Georgia Aquarium. All right, no, it's not a new trailer for a Jurassic Park film, but a new dinosaur that's not been seen, <laughs> at least nothing like this before. Scientists discovered this Bastionosaurus primitivus. It's part of the Stegosaur family and lived about 168 million years ago in the mid-Jurassic period. Fossils also show this dinosaur had armor plates that curve outward, a feature not seen in any other Stegosaurus. It also had a small spine-like armor. Researchers believe it probably protected it better from predators, unlike the large plates of the Stegosaurus, which were probably mostly for show. Hmm. All right, and this is not what allergy sufferers are wanna, gonna, gonna wanna hear, but unfortunately, experts say that allergy season could start up to a month earlier and be harsher because of a warmer climate in the future. Now, weather changes determine how wind and rain move pollen around. So as we start to see warming temperatures earlier in the year, plants can start pollinating earlier. Some researchers even say that annual pollen counts could climb by up to 250% in the next 100 years. And you know, we are just getting going in pollen season this year. Our pollen count today is 74. And let me kind of talk about where we're going to go from here. You notice that the tree pollen levels, which is where we end up getting all that yellow pollen from, that's especially the pine trees out there, but that's in the moderate range. So we're going to eventually not just go into the high range, but the extremely high range. So that count today is just 74. Where are we going to go from here? Well, we're going to see on average the peak late March through the first half of April. It differs every year. It depends on the weather, really. Sometimes it's late March, sometimes it's early April, but we're going to get into that extremely high range on average 12 to 13 days every year. We have had zero of them so far this year. And then the number when it gets into that extremely high range, they're above about 1500, but it's going to go even higher than that. We get, often get a couple of days each year that are above 4000. In fact, look at these numbers. These are our pollen records. We had our highest count nearly 10 years ago, over 9,000. Two years ago, we had a count just shy of 9,000. So unfortunately, we're headed in that direction. We now get these pollen counts every single day instead of just during the work week.